Among the truly exceptional sport fish on ice is one not often thought of by anglers. Yet the whitefish is widely distributed in ice country. It's also one of the most aggressive of all fish during winter. It grows to an impressive average size. It fights hard and it's outstanding on the table. Let's go in pursuit of this fine fish using spoon fishing tricks and techniques that can be applied to all predatory fish. We've taken an afternoon to go for whitefish and they're great eating, they're very great sport. They're just a very aggressive fish. But what we really want to talk about is one of the classic uh, lure designs of all time, and that's the spoon. We're going to talk about spoon tips that I don't care if you're a walleye fisherman, a pike fisherman, or um, fishing for smallmouths, there's tips that can help you catch more fish in this, uh, with this classic design. All right, here comes the fish. And that came on one of the newest spoons on the market. This is the Lindy Viking spoon right there. And I'm going to talk about that with Gord in a second because he's fished this kind of spoon, this style of spoon for uh, whitefish forever. And that's what, that's the fish right there. Beautiful open water ranging fish, very aggressive. Um, just a great sport fish there. And they are beautiful. Look at how they're shaped, just so muscular. And big fins so they can race through the water and then stop on a dime. Uh, and Gord has often said that they also, have, because of the mouth right here, like to feed, like to grub on the bottom. And yet, in June, they'll often be feeding on the surface too, so they're wonderful sport fish. Down you go. This one. Ryan, fish on. Uh, That's a whitey. Yeah. yeah. Ooh, nice one again. Ooh, nice fish, Ryan. Yeah. There we go. Good white fish. So you got, which spoon is that? That's the buckshot rattle? Yeah, buckshot rattle spoon. And it's a little more compact, not so much a flutter spoon Easy like, the, like the Viking you're using. Uh, and I find with these compact spoons, um, you need something to tip it with something. Well, it's, uh, even the one that I'm using, I think you need that because the, when the lift fall, the flash is, you know, the vibration and the yes. flash, that's the attracting maneuver. And then, then this is what actually triggers them in the end. Yes. Yeah. And this has the added, uh, the, the noise with the rattle has the added attractant. Okay, I'm going to put the fish back a minute. Sure. Now, in, in this situation, really, you know, I talked about that wide, narrow, thin spoon that, you know, mm -hmm. it has its own unique fall. But this is, uh, a, as you said, a compact spoon and it falls very accurately. Yes. And so these white fish, the whole key is to get them to come in to, to, to get them to see it. Oh, there's one, Douglas. Attaboy, Gord! You guys aren't even letting me get a chance to fish. <laughs> He's been nabbed by a northern or something. You get it? Yeah, it's just in his mouth. They got such a small mouth, though. Yeah. Well, turn him loose. Yeah. And then, yeah, he's all beat up. Is he ever? See, the neat thing about this, Douglas, yeah, is, this is a cool tip, is uh, it's, it's one of those kind of speed attach. It's actually called a fast attach. And, but the neat thing with this is, say you're using minnow heads. Right. And you know what the, one of the problem with minnow heads on a spoon is they'll hit it sometimes so, so subtly and pull the head off. Yep. And with this, what you can do is just do that. And what I've taken is that soft plastic we were fishing with. That's the, a little Northland scud bug. Yeah. And, uh, and if we were fishing with minnow heads, I could put a minnow head or whatever, and I'd put it right through the head, yep. out the mouth. Yep. And it's as fast as doing that, and there's no way then, there's no way they, they can get that, that off. off. And the other great thing is that you have, this makes it easier for the fish to actually take once he comes up because when they suck, you've got a little pivot point. Now a couple other tips here for you. I have a Lindy Viking spoon on, a uh, narrow thin spoon like I talked about a while ago. And we have, you've got, still got the treble on, yep. but in a situation where you've got such aggressive fish, like these white fish, uh, you simply, and then this works great for perch fishing or walleye fishing too, and that's simply to add a single hook many times. And if it certainly facilitates, I think it facilitates hookups many I do times. Too, Doug. And once you've got them, you've got them, they can't twist loose quite so easy on a single hook. And so there's some great advantages simply to adding a single hook. But the other thing that I have done here is to accomplish the same thing that you have accomplished there, is I have taken off the treble and I've added two split rings. So now 
Mine isn't dangling down quite as much as yours, but I've got still that little pivot area right exactly. there. Exactly. And the single hook also pivots better or more easily than the treble hook. So just another tip. And the other thing I would add is that I also have a swivel tied in about eight inches above the spoon, and that can help cut down on line twist a lot of times.